Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini Intruder, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you find me in not exactly good condition, but you know, relative to how I've been before, and relative to how this mod often leaves you, I think I'm in pretty bloody good condition. I've got most of my health, I've only got rads accounted for 25% of my health bar. Sure, I'm suffering from parasites, but of all the illnesses you can suffer from, that's a relatively minor one, all things considered. Now, the real problem is, however, I'm incredibly hungry and incredibly thirsty. I need to sort that out, and I think the game's pretty much telling me, as directly as it can, yeah, you're not gonna find much food down underground, that's just not how it flipping works. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a plan. And the plan is, we're going up above ground. We need to go up there and figure out what's going on in the world above. You see, because I decided to fight my way over in this- No, 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 no! What gives you rads there? There's just a mysterious, like, patch somewhere on that railway that just gives you rads. I don't know what's bloody giving you the rads, but something bloody does. Right, so luckily I didn't pick up many rads there. Thankfully, thanks to the fact I've already kind of decided to uh, fight my way past all the ghouls in this tunnel, I've actually made my way to Cambridge Station. Now, Cambridge strikes me as an extremely good place to go over ground from. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a deadly feral ghoul I haven't actually dealt with over there, but screw it, we're not going in that direction. Don't worry about actually clearing out the rest of the station. Let's instead go over the benefits of College Square Station and coming up in Cambridge in my current game right now. See, so College Square will bring me up in this sort of an area, and that has multiple advantages to it, which is... Well, in this mod, things seem to be laid out fairly intuitively. So, here's some useful things very close by to College Square. Just down to the south, if I can sneak down there, is a police station. Let's work under the assumption that the police station might be an excellent place to find guns. If I was looking for guns, police station strikes me as a good place to potentially go and find them. Though I suspect it will be guarded by something, it won't be that flipping easy. But, potentially of more interest and more urgent, if you head north from College Square out of Cambridge, after a little bit of open ground, you're pretty much hit in this sort of an area. You're pretty much hit, yeah, Corvega Assembly Plant, Beyond it, Lexington, and at the north of Lexington, Super Duper Mart. Now, if one place logically makes sense that there'd be food in it, it's got to be the Super Duper Mart. Now, that was obviously a little bit of a hotbed of ghouls in the base game, and probably will be here as well, but it's got to be worth a shot. That's got to be priority number one. I'm going to basically try and come up in Cambridge, see what's going on nearby. This is why I wanted to come here at night. So if it's dark, I'm assuming same rules will apply as in dark tunnels, which is, if it is ghouls, they won't be able to find me. Now, there were various little cafes and restaurants dotted around College Square in the base game. There might be a little bit of food to keep me going. If I can just make it to the Super Duper Mart, I feel like we might just be okay. And I've been told in the comments that gas masks act in, like, a slightly weird way, which is, if you're wearing a gas mask, you don't suffer any, like, air radiation at all. It's just 100% fine. So, hopefully... I won't be taking rads. If I am taking really low level rads, well, I've got some spare rads right now. Everything's going to be just flipping fine, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, and one other thing I shouldn't forget in the comments, by the way, someone flagged to me, the person who died from drugs in here, yeah, they had a gun. They had a glow-sighted pipe revolver pistol. Let's have a quick look-see at that. Damage 25. My tactical pipe pistol has damage 20, and it takes the 0.45 ammo, so I can't actually fire the damn thing. Fine. Remember that's there. In fact, actually, uh, shove that into the box, or rather the uh, the cash register, where I'm storing something else already. Yeah, that's where the combat shotgun is. Now, the downside of this area, as opposed to coming up in, say, uh, Park Street Station, is, yeah... There's no convenient bed nearby. So if I die, I just basically have to sprint back from where I started over to here. But that's fine. I had a good sleep recently and it's a fairly short run. So it shouldn't take too long to get back to where I was. And out we come and I'm totally taking rads. You lied to me, comments. Still, on the plus side, I can just level up immediately. So that's nice. You know, I'm actually fairly tempted to potentially boost endurance just for a bit of extra health and then maybe going into cannibal, because screw it, cannibal seems like a good idea. And quite frankly, at this point, life giver seems kind of nice. Life giver gets up to, yeah, level 3, only level 20. Tiny bit of health regen would be lovely in this mode. Hunter would be nice as well. Then if I just find some animals, I can actually just get some flipping meat, because cooked meat doesn't have rads, and rads is the flipping enemy. Actually, no. Let's stick to the plan. Let's sneak. Sneaking seems to work really well, and it's dark out. 
I'm going to go for sneak. I'm just going to work on sneaking. We're just going to stay hidden. Unfortunately, I am actually taking rads right now, but hopefully fairly few rads. My rad resistance should be pretty high. Yeah, across everything, I've now got 40 rad resistance going on at all times. Because 30 off the military gas mask and another 10 off the actual Vault 114 jumpsuit. So, hopefully, we'll be okay. Right, let's just... Oh, the rads have gone. What happened to the rads? I was... Okay, you didn't lie to me. Thank you. Oh, what's that up there? That looked like it was shambling. If something's shambling, I'm going to work under the assumption it's a... Ah! The rads were almost certainly from a ghoul walking directly above me. Got it. Uh, right. Time to sneak. Good! So I'm wearing a gas mask. I'm not taking rads out in the open air. Beautiful. Thank you, comments. You didn't lie to me. Now, up we go. Is this going to be... Yeah, okay. So this place is still ghoul central, as it ever was. That's fine. I just need to slowly sneak my way around them. It's dark. I've taken sneak one. I should just be able to basically, yeah, head north as quickly as possible. So pretty much if I just head north out of this area. In fact, actually, there's a hospital over here as well. It's called the, um, what is it? The Kendall or something? Right, okay. Three priorities to get myself stabilized here. Food up north. Guns, immediately to the south of me, and medical equipment over to the east. All of that, good idea. Okay, there is a light here, which I don't like. Ghoul, 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 ghoul. Yeah, plenty of ghouls. If I just move nice and slowly around here, and if I just stay quiet and out of the way... Okay, what am I going to do? There's clearly... There's ghouls everywhere. Don't like this... If I just stay... Oh, crikey. Okay, it does appear to be working like in the tunnels. If I just basically get round here and then head in this direction and I keep it moving nice and slow. Oh, what's that over there? That's loads of ferals in that direction. Right, I might struggle to get out of there, to be honest. Uh, okay, this seems like a fairly safe point to start off with. The exits, if I want to get out of the town and actually get somewhere safe, are I could head west and then cut north. That leads down towards the river. That is... Okay. We're not sneaking past that. That's fine. So that means my exit point is now to the west. I'm heading to the west, and then I'm going to cut north around the outside of this... Oh, blimey, right. You're up top. But that's fine. If you just stay up top, that doesn't bother me. Let's just... Crikey. Right, just nice and slow. And if need be, start sprinting. Because enemies seem to lose you and lose interest. And oh, I'm too close to a ghoul. I'm too close to a ghoul. I'm too close to a ghoul. Okay. Enemies seem to lose interest in you pretty easily in this mod. So if need be, I can just start sprinting. Okay. How do you roam exactly? Because if you want to basically both naff off saying that okay with both of you there maybe i'm better off going south i might be better off going south if you just want to stay stuck on a thing over there you just stay there for a bit yeah oh can i even get past that way i thought you could but it looks a bit blocked off to me actually right you two just stay there i'm just gonna make a run for it down this way to the south Okay, there's a... Ooh, and there's a convenient thing here. Hello! Right, survivor. I'll take a bottle cap. Guard outfit doesn't do me much good. That does me some good stuff, though. Leaded. Okay, <gasps> plasma grenade. Okay, I'll gladly take a plasma grenade every time I take a plasma grenade. Scavenger's gas mask. Well, I've already got a proper military gas mask. That feels better. Right, how does this compare to my armor? So you've got a leaded studded leather left for 5, 9, 10. That weighs 5. I Meanwhile, I've got 5 and 5 only weighing 2 right here. And given I've got the gas mass right now and I'm already carrying like 40 rad resistance, I feel like that's not worth it. Now, sturdy metal looks pretty darn nice at 25 and 15, but I'm guessing that weighs a ton next to my existing. It's Yeah, I've got combat armor on my chest right now. That weighs 8. 
yeah, I can't afford the extra weight capacity. And sturdy treated, 9 and 15 on the right arm, but with a weight of 6. Yeah, right now I've got the wire right for 5 and 5. Okay, I might actually just store that over there with you, and I will take your sturdy treated leather right for an extra 4 weight. Yeah, I'll take that. And just pop that on as well. And now just keep moving. So uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Searching, 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 searching. Get out of town, get out of town, get out of town, get out of town. Just got away with that, minds. Just got away with that. Right, okay. We're out of town. We're into the snowy waste. But what's out here? Improvised explosive device times many. Right, watch out. There's explosives on the ground here. Watch the hell out. But we're not... And I think someone else might also be walking into them too. Marvellous. Right. Undetected. Outskirts of town. Now I've just got to skirt my way around the outside. If I can pick up some extra mines. I uh, don't want the risk. No, the few so flipping low. And the fact I've managed to get out of town. I don't have a save since flipping back at my main base underground. No. It's not worth it. Now, speaking of which, where are they... Okay, now I can't find the explosive devices anymore. So that's good. Now, there's probably a couple of ghouls in that direction. But for the most part, this looks pleasingly quiet. Yeah. One ghoul up there. We've managed to escape from Cambridge. Or rather, escape from the actual town area of Cambridge. That's flipping swimming in ghouls. And there it is right there. There's my destination one. Corvega Assembly. Okay. Now, actually, if anything's growing out in the world, I'd be happy to just eat some flipping raw fruit just for the sake of getting my hunger down a bit because hunger and thirst, those are the biggies. And actually, I think there's a river right down there, isn't there? Yep, very, very close by to College Square. Big river. Nip down there, I can drink as much as I want. I might well get ill or whatever, but it's better than dying of dehydration. Stick to the plan for the time being. Keep an eye out for anything growing that looks like a bush or anything that might be pickable. And just head. That's a doe. Good. Well, it's not dangerous, but without the hunter perk, can't get any meat out of it, so don't worry about it. Plus, hunting with melee is going to be a lot more flipping difficult. It might just draw attention to me. It's safer to just not do so. There's a cow. Oh, I'd love to just have a beef burger out of you. But tragically, I suspect that's not going to fly anything guarding you, by the way? Or are you just, uh... You are just a cow on your own. By the way, do you have only one head? Has the game modded it so you've only got one head at this point? I've been found by cows. No, nope, you do still have two heads. You are just Brahmin, just not yet named Brahmin yet. Oh, I truly wish I could just get some beef out of these guys. If I choose to take Hunter next, remember those guys are there. Because that would be nice. To be able to have a nice beef burger. I feel like my character could really go... For a flipping beef burger right now. Right, keep the junkyard over there. No. Stick to the plan. Don't wander off. We're okay for the time being. If I can get into the streets of Lexington, I can hide in there pretty easily. And if need be, I can skirt round the... Actually, that's probably the better idea. If I skirt round to the right of Lexington from the way I'm looking at it right now, there's water down in that direction too. Skirt round there. That's quite pretty. That actually suits the, you know, the snow and the whatever quite nicely lit up at night. That's very pretty indeed. Right, okay. Ignore that. It's probably still like Raider or Ghoul or Cannibal Central or something. Though I don't see any trouble just yet. But there's no reason to believe there's food there. Right now my priorities are food and water. Rads have sort of stabilised, which I'm thrilled about. So let's instead just loop down this way. Watch out for trouble and make our way down to, yeah, water. And then after that point, food. And while we're going in this direction, actually, we're passing by a few shops. Now, they're very small. And if they turn out to be uninhabited or inhabited by all, ferals. Okay. A couple of ferals over there. Ignore that shop. There's a big bus station right here. That based on the bracket movements, I'm going to assume is not inhabited. Now, if I'm very lucky, might just be able to pick up something here. Yeah. 
There's totally nothing in this station, otherwise the brackets would be shuffling way more by now. Good. In which case, let's have a little looksy round. See what we can find. Because just a little bit of food to keep me going would be marvellous right about now. And I don't see... Ooh, there's a pharmacy! There's a pharmacy inside Lexington, and it's really close by to where I am. Ooh. Okay. Life is getting flipping interesting all of a sudden, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing alive in here. The brackets would be shuffling way more. Right. Buff tats. Buff tats are nice. Anyone want to give me some flipping food? No, sadly, no one was actually travelling with food. And can I get in here? Watch out for traps. Any chance of a working sink? Nope, that's too much to ask for, obviously. Right, nothing but I'm back off. Again, just I'm very suspicious of traps right now. Oh, something's a bit closer to me than I was originally hoping for. Phones, normally a very good bit of kit. And round the back, nothing in here. Nope, tragically, nothing of note whatsoever. Right, now, destination, or rather new destination... Not what I was originally planning. I'm pretty sure if I literally just head around the corner here, then one of these big buildings right here is a pharmacy. I don't know if it's that building there. I thought it was more like just around the corner here. So we'll have to see about that. The brackets seem pretty stable for the time being. And mines will be detected by... Yep, I've discovered Lexington. Nice. If I'm right, this here... It's a pharmacy. Okay, the survivors. Good. Of all the things in the world, survivors are the most welcome. They, for the most part, don't try and, you know, flipping murder you. Okay, into the pharmacy. Be ready to back straight back out if it looks too dangerous. What's in here? Nothing's in here. It's a pharmacy and it's empty. And that is a flipping health box right there. Come on. Purified water and a blood pack. Oh, purified flipping water. I love you. Oh, that is just the thing. Come on, get me down to the next level. Down. Nope. Still flipping not, obviously. Right, anything else here? Because the pharmacy might have some more useful stuff in it. Yeah, we're 100% safe in here. That's good. That's just a lav bottle. A couple of dead people. There's some jets. Cigarette cartons. Come on, there must be something better here. That's just... Ooh, Radex. Radex is pretty good. Okay, I'll take some Radex. Ooh, bandage. Right. Okay, good. This place was kitted out as a bit of a pharmacy because there is indeed definitely some bandages. So if I need a little bit of health regen, I've now got, well, some at least. Not perfect, but I'll say that's better than it might be. Okay, next destination. So if I recall correctly, if I now loop round to the right, I can skip most of Lexington Interior. If I skip most of Lexington Interior, there was a retirement home overlooking the water on the right. Crystal Pines, if I recall correctly? That sounds vaguely right, but also kind of wrong. Now, that place was full of beds in the base game. Drop a save there, and then I'll be safe to move towards the Super Duper Mart, which I suspect is much more dangerous. Plus, water. Unclean water, but still water. And yeah, survivors up there, but they're not going to be thrilled with me. Let's not trouble them. For the time being. Let's just stay focused on the important stuff. I'm going to loop back out of town. And just head round towards the... The right. Okay, that's the bus station we've already looted. Not much there. But, happy with the pharmacy. That's some good pickings from there. Now, loop round this way. And maybe stay in town if we can. Because... Well, actually, this place was ghoul central in the base game. But actually, seems pretty quiet right now. The brackets seem nice and still. So if I can just basically... Oh, hello. That looks like a door. Remind me what... Okay. Don't freak me out, please, physics objects. What building does that lead into? Lexington Apartments. Okay, I'll have a look. Apartments might have food. I mean, there's even a poster on the wall the moment I come in advertising donuts and coffee. Like, that's a sign. That's a sign that right here, I'm going to find food. But the brackets are... There's something really close by here. Right. I might back out if I don't like the look of it, though. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. 
Whatever it is, it could... <gasps> 10 millimeter rounds times 8, and a bobby pin, and a... Ooh! Oh, 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 my sexy, sexy man. Whatever killed you, I want to go give it a hug, or probably I actually... That's a mine! That's a flipping... Oh, I almost walked into a mine. Right, just step away from the mine, take what I've got, walk away. See, right now I've got a suppressed 10 millimeter auto with 11 bullets now. That is... Yep, 27... How is a muzzled armor-piercing 10 minutes? Oh, it's also auto. Damn it. That's actually also auto. Fine. So it's exactly the same damage, but it's got... Hang on. If I just put this on, uh, how does this compare to that? So range is a tiny bit up, which is nice, actually. The range being a little bit up. But accuracy is down, which is ah, but only by one. You know what? I'd rather actually have the... I'll keep this. If I could just find a weapons bench, I could combine some of these weapons together and potentially make something better. But why are they stuck being flipping autos? Also, I'm going to regret this. I really am. But I've got a plan. Which is, if I just... If I grab this guy and I just pull him around the corner so he's not actually in the way anymore. Right, just, just grab you. And you just, you just come with me. Okay, you just get out of the way, and now you're not in the way of the mine anymore. I got really close to that mine without it going off. I mean, I know this is stupid, but a mine is so flipping valuable. Get it! Okay. It's worth it, because a mine is so valuable, you do not leave a mine behind. Handmade tripwire. Okay, disarm that question is, what was that about? Uh, were you about to by any chance trigger a grenade dropping? Because if you were, I'll have myself a grenade too. Okay. All your traps are kind of working in my favour. Oh, blimey. There's a... There's a weirdly bright light. And that's, that's really weird, and it's making everything go wibbly. Who the cock are you? And where are you? Because I'm guessing this is just designed to, like, yeah, make me incredibly well lit up as I go through here. What is happening? I can't see properly because of that light, which is, you know, presumably its point. Right, okay. Okay. Oh! Survivor. That's a bed. That is a flipping bed. And I only see one survivor here. I don't like the fact he's standing on the corner. I've got an idea, actually. Because I might as well use the tools you've just given me against you. Because right now I've got myself two fragmentation grenades. One of which was a very kind gift from you. I use this. I'm still one mine up at the end of the day. So, how about we just say... One grenade! What the... That will flipping do. Lovely. So, that's you dead. Just check everything's as it should be. Yep, lovely. Everything is... Oh, I think there might have been a second one. Hang on, are you a corpse? Yep, you're a corpse as well. Lovely. So, got both of you with that. Smokestack gas mask. What does that actually mean? Oh, yeah, that's way worse than the one I've got. I've got uh, 30. I'm thinking, like, you know, a proper military one's probably pretty much as good as it gets. Now, you lived here. If you lived here, presumably... Ooh, a flight helmet. That seems good. Ooh, and strength and shadowed. Right. Hard to detect. And that strikes me as useful. And... Surveyor outfit. Ooh. If you were wearing that at the same time as stuff over the top of it, that might be useful. Endurance one and perception one. Okay. Might have a look see at that. Now, a strength and shadowed left leg. Ah, but it loses me quite a lot of my sturdy metal left. But my sturdy metal left weighs eight. This weighs half that and gets me bonus sneakiness. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to swap it out. And his helmet definitely isn't a good idea because while it's really kind of cool and badass, it would replace my gas mask, so no. Ooh, that's pocketed. Pocketed is the best thing, yes. Okay, so right arm, 712 and weighs 5, but it's pocketed. 
My right arm is, yeah, 6, 9 and 15, which is way better. But screw it, for extra carry capacity, yeah, I'll swap that out every time. So, let's put that on and see what that gives me. Oh my goodness, it's an extra 5. Oh, 5 extra carry weight never seems so nice. Right, and this is presumably, yeah, this is an under thing. So, I lose, hang on. So, I gain 5 and 10 off that. This weighs two extra, but gets me additional... Gets me additional endurance. I might keep this. If I run into rads or I need to take a swim or something, I can put that back on. And now, I'm up to, yes, yeah, 75 weight out of 87. Which I think is actually a really nice place to be in, actually. I'm pretty bloody happy with that. Now, are we nice and safe? Yeah, we're definitely 100% safe right now because the brackets are absolutely still. In which case, we can turn the lights on. Have a little looksy round. So, a Braxo cleaner. Useful. And, ooh. Oh my, homemade fusion grenades. Fragmentation grenades and fragmentation mines. This was explosive central. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy now. Life is good. Life is good. This is a... That's a door to upstairs. Okay. An overdue book. No food, though. Tragically, no food whatsoever. But... I'll take two empty bottles, convert those into dirty water, convert that into purified water. Okay. Not perfect, but it's a flipping save point I can use, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a bed. Now, I don't want to actually rest there properly because I'm not tired and I like it being night. So I'm just going to drop a single hour there, then we're going to be on our way. Oh bloody hell, I've just got fatigued. Well, that's just even worse. Okay, antibiotics are becoming a priority. I need to find some flipping medicine. I already went to a pharmacy. Darn it, I was unlucky not to get anything there. And it's close to morning. Right, it's going to be light soon. Even though I've just done a fake hour of sleep where you back up, you still get the autosave. I've still lost my adrenaline, unfortunately. So now I'm even weaker. Still, that's not such a problem in this game. Because to be honest, it feels like everything's pretty much a one-hit kill broadly. So don't worry about it. Oh, hello. I've just stepped outside and... Someone is shooting at someone else. Right. I see a survivor down there who's on the flipping run. And you are really in a flipping hurry. Okay. Bit of action going on in Lexington here. Is that... Oh. Hello. Ah! Feral ghouls taking on you. Now, who's going to win that? You've got some proper armor on you. So, you have actually managed to conveniently clear out... Yeah, nice. So, those survivors down there have just actually cleared out some flipping ghouls for me. Well, that... That's just flipping kind of, yeah. Marvellous. Anything else you... Okay. Who's firing at... Oh! It's a flipping war zone in here. I just saw a glowing one in the distance over there. Yeah. I see why the survivors are just hanging out around here. They've got a nice elevated position. Apparently, they've got guns and ammo. Possibly that's... Uh, actually, no, that won't be them. What that'll be is, yeah, an actual turret at the front door of uh, the Corvega assembly plants. That, however, is... Well, it's not marked as a glowing one, but it pretty much is a glowing one, isn't it? And it's angry, and it's on the move. Right. I should probably just stay away from him. To be perfectly honest. Uh, maybe I just go back the way I came. Is that... That's a survivor running around over there. If I just let this play out... Well, time is... Oh, blimey. What the heck? What was that? That might have just been a radiation burst from a glowing one or something. And just a weird effect from it. To be honest, I'd say maybe I just stay out of this. But equally... If these guys eventually lose... To that guy, which they definitely flipping will, then I could just... Oh dear. More glowing ferals. Yeah, it was absolutely... He just did his radiation burst. Right. Yeah, decision made there. Time to get back inside. I'm guessing no water from here. No, of course not. Time for me to... Oh yeah, that's just what a rad burst looks like against the snow effect. Okay. Ooh. Hello. You're a survivor. What's your plan for dealing with that? Because he was totally just there a second ago. Right, more survivors just wandering around. And more. What the hell was that? Okay, oh. Okay. 
If I could just lead these two things into each other, that would work for me. You seem to be getting close. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. It's a big nasty thing that's going to totally destroy these guys. Or unless, of course, you're planning to just run away. If you're just planning to run away, to be honest, I wouldn't flip and blame you. Right. So now there's a great big O. Oh. Now he's kind of come over here. And now you're planning to just start basically whacking... Are you planning to attack a flipping glowing one? What looks like, like a really fat, putrid glowing one with a stick? Because I think that might actually be your plan right now. And it's not a good plan. Okay. We're back down to undetected. Potentially, I could just drop down... I'm talking about dropping down to the middle of a war zone. But now they've run over there. That's where I will be coming out if I just go back down the flipping steps. Oh. It ain't over. It ain't over. I think it will be momentarily. Right. Just let those two go for each other. Let those two go for each other. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Right. So is that more? That's going to be more ghouls over there. Fine. He's just led it away. Time for me to just get back downstairs to the other side of town and stay out of this. Remember, my priority right now is food and medicine and water. Those guys might give me armor and guns. I've actually got a little bit of ammo and some guns right now. I don't need more of that. Or rather, I probably do, but it's not the priority. The priority is focusing on getting down to the water source and getting to the Super Duper Mart in particular. Right. Back outside. This is the... No, that's not the alleyway where that fight just occurred. I think it's over to the the side over here but for the moment at least everything's calm i probably want to stay away yeah there it is that's the alleyway i want to stay away from all of this i want to stay away from a lot of it i'm just going to nip slightly further out of town assuming there's not more problems out this way because outside of town actually that building looks hollow if that building's hollow i might just nip inside and loot it because i seem to be in a quiet bit of town right now so there's blatantly something going on here okay looks calm for the minute calm for the minute uh what is this building i can't remember what this building is in the base game actually it looks like it's just basically a point where the road collided with a building i'm not sure there's anything left actually in here right jump through here yep here we go this will be the retirement home and i've had a save pretty close by so if this doesn't work out, it's fine. I can just step straight out to the apartment, come down here. Retirement home appears to be... Yeah, Mystic Pines, not Crystal Pines, Mystic Pines. Oh, it's pretty close. There's quite a few, like, shared letters there. I might even go so far as to say that's kind of a half rhyme. Beautiful. So, Crystal Pines, probably a good spot to... Yep, yeah, seems pretty empty to me. Probably a good spot... To drop a final save before I head over towards the Super Duper Mart. And we've got... Ooh! An actual skill magazine! Yes. Nice! So permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Oh, I imagine that's going to be flipping useful <laughs> in a world where there don't seem to be any... Oh! I'm severely dehydrated. Right. We're out of options. Um, I just need to go down to the water that's nearby and basically drink. Unless there happens to be something in this very flipping building that's appropriate. There is water right down there. I just need to basically just go and drink up to capacity from that. If I get sick, I get sick. That's unfortunate, but I'm lacking options right now. And this place seems to be under control. That's advanced locked, irritatingly. I don't suppose there's a key floating around. Where was the key in the base game? Can't remember. I think in the base game there's... Oh, hang on. Oh, my goodness. That's food. That's actual flipping food. Oh, I'm now severely dehydrated. Uh-oh. When it says severely dehydrated, does that mean I'm literally taking damage over time? Okay. Priorities here. Priorities. There's flipping water. Get down to said water and just basically drink. And also, eat that food. Hopefully, you know, this is nice fresh food. It's got some rads in it, which is a shame, but don't worry about that. Right, right. Down, 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 down. Apparently severe dehydration is the point where it gets really problematic. Right, down we go. Just, just drink. Just flipping drink, okay? It's fine. Uh, still dehydrated. I'm taking loads of rads right now. Mildly dehydrated. Screw it. I'm lacking options. I may as flipping well. Right, parched. 
don't take any more. Now, what have I just run down to here? Nothing major. Fine. I'm no longer taking damage over time because presumably I'm too thirsty, which I'm guessing was what happened there. Like in the base game, I don't let thirst get that out of control. So I don't flipping know. This is all a complete unknown to me. Now what else do we have in this part of the world? Anything major? No. Doesn't appear to be anything major. Oh, now I'm tired from lack of sleep. Well, that's fine. That's fine. There's beds right flipping here. As soon as I'm done exploring this place and I'm satisfied there's nothing good to be looted out of it and tragically doesn't feel like there's any flipping food at all. Yeah, I'll have a quick nap here, potentially, until night, in fact. That's possibly the safest way to do this. And then, ooh, that looks like a kitchen. That looks distinctly like a kitchen. Come on. Come on, game. Be nice. Be flipping nice. Open up the <gasps> sugar bombs and cram. And no matter how much I eat and how many rads I sacrifice to do it, I never seem to get my hunger down. <laughs> this old world snack food just doesn't do the job. And irritatingly, there's a security gate right there, but... Locked tight. Advanced locked. Right. There's two rooms in here with advanced lock picking. If I could get myself up to another level, advanced lock picking might not be the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Right, okay. Time to just have a save and a quick bit of sleep just to, yeah, get my tiredness away. That's one thing I can easily take care of, at least. Just four hours, though. Four hours will be fine. Please don't get sicker. And drop save. I'm no sicker. Good. I've got plenty of action points. I've still got like a third of my health. It's fight. Unfortunately, the thirst crept up on me so badly I needed to drink a bunch of heavily irradiated water. Which is a real shame. But there we are. Fine. Now we're pretty safe for the time being. So now if I just loop... If I just head pretty much due west... I should hit the Super Duper Mart. It should be pretty much... It might be that building right there, in fact. Uh, I just don't see it yet because, yeah, the compass markers are very, very short range in survival mode. And there's Survivor up on the top of that. Oh, no, no, no. Very angry Survivor. Okay. An angrier than usual Survivor there. Normally, Survivors don't flipping, like, you know, go straight into hostile that far away. Oh. Hello, wait, why rad? Wait, 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 wait. Why rads? Why rads? Why rads? Why am I taking rads? What's going on here? That's a terminal. I don't know why I'm taking rads. Why am I taking... Okay, just get out of here. Get out of here in case there's... Was there a... There might have been a ghoul up on the roof or something? Okay, fine. Okay, I found the Super Duper Mart. Good. Good. And when I say good, I mean bad because I'm going to die here. And also there's, there's totally stuff around here. Right. This is the front door here. Those are just birds. They're not going to kill you. However, this is also the point in the base game where someone actually fires a fat man at you. So, you know, be a bit careful of that before I go in. Just on the off chance this happens to be food R us. No, this is a bank. Tragically, this is just a bank. I don't suppose the bank robbers were like super uh oh. Ghoul, ghoul nearby. No, no, no. Walk away, walk away. There's probably a ghoul behind that door. Right. The problem is, if this place is ghoul central, and based on what I'm seeing, it almost certainly will be, I can't afford to clear it out. Not because I don't think I could. Just because I've got to save over there. I can just redo it a few times until I get my, like, you know, my attacks and the headshot spot on. But if I do, I'll take too many rads from standing too close to them. Though, actually, I do have one of these gun things... Yeah, a gun with 11 bullets. That could be the solution, you know. Also, I don't suppose the game will be kind enough to let me reactivate the actual robot to be on my side. That'd be lovely. Right, okay. Yeah, Protectron. Protectron, Protectroning me. And something is alive very close by. Okay, this... This is a supermarket. It's where food lives. There we go. Right. Feral ghoul, but... It's a dangerous one. I could just crit it. I could just use my critical. I've been saving my critical for bloody ages. I could just basically use a critical right now. This place is actually conveniently full of dead ghouls. Dead ghouls have random loot on them. Random loot can include useful things. 
Okay, let's just start on this side of the supermarket. And, oh. Right, you're alive -in. Okay, stay away from you for the time being. Because if I just keep my distance and use vats to identify which one of these are fake versus which ones of these are real, that works for me. And I'd really, really like to get a Protectron up and running. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Screw it. Take the shot. Screw it. Just take him out. Take him out. Silent shot. Dead feral. Okay. Worth it. Flipping worth it. Admittedly, three bullets worth, because I haven't found any 10mm that's not a flipping uh, auto yet, but still worth it. You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead too. Problem is, this food shop appears to be rather lacking in food. Which was pretty much the entire reason for coming here. I'll take an oil can though. That'll get me more mines and more molotovs. And if more things do show up, I can mine up this place. I've got multiple mines. Okay. Open the door. But I'm going to guess this is... Ooh. That's novice. Okay. I'm now happy about life. Got in straight away. Save control. Disengage that. Lovely. And then next up, Protectron control. Personality module is going to be law enforcement. And obviously, we're activating him. Right. Good, good, good. Now, is he going to attack me? Protectron on duty. He might attack me. I kind of hope not. Also, the safe's got nothing in it but a silver knife and ten dollars. In the base game, he never attacks you. He might attack me. That, quite frankly, strikes me as likely, but... Hopefully, he's more likely to go and murder that bastard over there. If he could just go and murder that bastard over there, that'd be flipping marvellous. Okay, something's being shot at. Something's being shot at. This is good. He's just shooting at a ghoul for me. He's clearing out the ghouls. Albeit, you know, hostile searching is going on right now. Am I deemed to be hostile? Oh. I think I might be. Just, yep, yeah, just finish him off. Oh dear. Right, just, maybe I'm just going to close the door quickly. Right, just finish, finish them off. Finish them off. Oh, I think he's just basically drawn a huge amount of attention, actually. I feel like, actually, yeah, he's just drawn attention. It is far too late for the backup plan, isn't it? Yeah. Any explosive will kill me. Um. Best I've got is guns. Boom, boom, boom. And no, 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 no. Fine. This is, this is, and that's out of. All right, fine. Let's try that again. It's fine because I'm close by to the place and it's basically just a nice, easy, straight stroll across there. Okay, this is eminently doable. It's okay if I fluff it a few times. Though, thing we've learned, yeah. Obviously, the robot isn't aiming for the headshots. So, potentially, the robot's working against me. Because what the robot's doing is, yeah. He's pretty much uh, causing the ghouls to all wake up and swarm. But, actually, theoretical. What if I was to use the robot as bait to draw all the ghouls together... And then, toss a grenade right into the middle of it. Yeah, that strikes me as workable. Okay, there's actually, there's several of you around there. Okay, hang on. Gas canister mine. Pretty effective against these guys, actually. So how about we just basically hold out in this sort of an area? Yeah, why don't you come over here? That's, that's terrible searching. That's just awful, awful, awful searching. Yeah, why don't you just come over here and I'll just fall back. Has to, you know, various varieties of mines. Right, you're now dead. Frag mine. Let's just drop a frag mine right here for the next guy who shows up. Right, there we are. That should be far enough back, hopefully. So you guys just walk straight through the flames uh, over to here. Oh, this is never going to flipping work, but I'll give it a flipping go. He's just stuck on fire. Screw it. This seems like a really good opportunity for this. So, Molotov! Darn it. Not even sure what that hit. Alright. Attempt three. So it tends to be that there's a couple of them floating around over in that direction. Like a few of them definitely do start off awake. So probably the best I can do is just as quickly as possible before they detect me. Get through here. And then close the door behind me. And then get that robot activated. 
Right, Protectron activated. Now this time, yeah, have the frag grenades ready to go. Problem is, they're now fighting and I don't have visibility as to where they are. Now, hopefully, he's got enough built-in armor that he might actually get a couple of light taps in on them and finish, like, a couple of them off. But I, I can't see him. And if I actually expose myself any further, they'll find me and just rush through the door when he's dead. Okay, the Protectron's in trouble. He possibly hasn't taken out a single flipping ghoul, but he might have actually drawn over a few of them to me. Okay, now they're totally right there. I'm taking one rad through there. Now they're wandering off. Right. Well, that hasn't really done much, but it has potentially, potentially, at least, managed to weaken some of them. I see you over there. Yep, yeah, he's taken like half his health bar dealing with that, which is not... Oh dear. Right, okay, it's okay. It's okay. All he needs to do is just be critical. You go down. Right, okay. Now we just basically start as everyone else found me too. Right, okay. It's it's fine. It's No, it's not fine. None of it was fine. Okay, attempt three or four or whatever. Right, so what I know is there's going to be like, I don't know, three or four of them. Mining up the area strikes me as a good idea, but I need to start over there so I've got like room to retreat backwards. Gas canister mines are also heavy, so getting rid of them would be a good thing. Right, gas canister mine number one over in that direction, okay? So there's a mine down over there. Lovely. You want to come and find me? That'd be marvellous. So why don't you just... Actually, no, I'm going to stand up. Draw his attention. Right, draw his attention. That's right. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. And... A bit further. He's sadly does not actually uh, lost his... Oh! No, 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 no. This can be made to work. Attempt five or six or something. They come this way sooner or later. They do. So I may as well lay a mine down right flipping there. Okay. Then we just basically mine up this entire area. Okay. If I can clear out the super duper mart, I feel like we'll be in good shape. So now there's mines dotted about. And before that first guy triggers, no, you're not a dangerous one. So I don't want to waste my critical. Right. Number one, dead. Still another mine over there. If I can just nail one of the dangerous ones with a critical headshot, then we'll be in good shape. Hang on, are you one of the dangerous ones? You're not. You're one of the dangerous ones. Right. Go. Critical. And down you go as well. 161 hit points. Right. Lovely. In comes the second dangerous one right into the mine. And then we've got, oh dear. Then we've got some problems, because now I think I saw two over there searching. Where are they? Right, okay, and my flipping... Right, they're over there, they're searching, they haven't found me, they're searching, they haven't found me, they're searching, they haven't found me, they're searching... There's a flip, 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 flip... Oh, there's, there's tons of them! There's tons of the bastards! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If I, if I can just sneak through here, if I can just sneak out of the way right here. Right, there's way more than I was expecting! And I've just lost a bobby pin as well, because, yeah, the locks have been seriously made tougher than they were. Right, it's, it's about here. There we go. Got it, 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 close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. There's flipping mob! Flip! Just go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. Um, right. He goes that way. I go, I go over to melee. Maybe, no, you're one of the dangerous ones, so that's not going to flip and work. Oh, flip, how many more are there? There's, there's all of them. There's all of them. There's flipping all of them. But, okay. If he comes back this way, uh, mine it up. One right there. Okay. That'll deal with... You're not alive. No, you're not alive. Fine. What's that? Flip, 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 flip. Are you getting... He's close enough. He hasn't seen me. And then that's a... That's nothing. That's a nothing. Okay. Right, 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 right. And boom. Just need to... Take him out the head. Take him out that head. Oof. Just. Okay. Now now I've got all the rads and, and none of the health. And possibly if the same trap exists in the base game, they're going to climb in through this window. But I'm undetected. But in trouble. Mentats and buff out. There better be some food. There better be some flipping food in this area. This is the back area. This here is the back area of the store. Okay, it's a good place. There's an oil can. That's good. Military grade duct tape. That's always welcome. Oh, 
How did you get it? Oh, bloody hell. How did you... How, 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 bloody hell. Right, okay, um, 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 I guess... Okay, just... Wait for him to get closer. Hope! There we go! Okay, and we've leveled up and reached level 6. Don't know how much good that does. How did you even get this way? I literally mined up the one entrance this... No! Oh, just... Again! Go for the... No! Oh, ballsing hell. Right, go over to the... Go over to... The... Should have laid more mines. Okay, what I've learned from the first few attempts is there's too many tough guys for this to actually be made to work in a normal way. So instead, all I need to basically do is lay all my mines around and if possible, uh, take out... Yeah. Use the critical to just take out one of the dangerous ones. Um, and then basically just at that point just start laying mines. Lay mines literally everywhere. Okay. Lay a mine there. And then uh, lay a mine over like uh, here. Here is a good spot for a mine too. There's a good mine right flipping there. Now we just lay all of the mines. Now where's the... Because there was a guy here who was up. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yep. There we go. And you just basically go over there. And you have... You're a dangerous lad. Right, okay, get right up close to you. Hope! And that did not work in the slightest. Okay, well done. We've now lost all of the ammo on this particular version. He hasn't found me. Right, some of those guys are... That might accidentally work. Okay. They're all searching. But if I basically just stay right here... And I stay really calm. And I don't move in the slightest. And then the other people round there just ever so slowly decide that what they're going to do is... Nope! Okay, this is this is going to be a bit more on the difficult side. Where are they? Okay, he's running over in this direction. Is it? Yeah, okay. Why don't you just run around here? You need to run... Okay, if you want to get me, I'm right here. I'm right here. You need to come over this way to get me. You need to come over here to get me. Right by the mine I've laid. Why don't you come around to the... He's going to refuse to, isn't he? He's actually just going to get himself stuck. Right. Brilliant. Well, I've killed some people. I have killed a few people. And if anyone comes from that direction, they're going to run into the mines. What else do I have to potentially do? Well, you are dangerous. You are a dangerous lad, aren't you? I know from experience, Molotovs aren't quite the killing machines they once were. But a frag grenade should... No. He's figured out how to loop round. Okay. Right. Claims and found. Where are the guys round here? Because I don't see the guys round here anymore. Okay. I'm defended. Okay. This area is mind the flip up. This could be made to work. This one's probably not such a... Right. Good. There's one. So that was probably him right there. That was probably the guy from earlier. Okay. Question is, where's the... Oh, flip, 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 flip. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Go! Damn it! That was a good idea till it wasn't. Attempt nine or something. Okay, we're getting into the hang of this now. We're just getting into the flipping swing of it. Number one goes down. That's fine. You go down. Gets me 160 something. Right. Next up. We'll lay one mine right there. We'll lay another mine guarding the entrance to my little fallback area right over here. We lay mine number three for anything that runs round the corner right here. Still got a mine in hand, not one mine is detonated yet. Go over to grenades, because I know for a fact there's going to be a whole bunch of people round there who are going to be activated. Right, that's a whole bunch of you killed. Now, how about you? Ah, you're coming this way. How are you planning to get to me? Uh, the answer is, uh, awkwardly, uh, right, you're more of a concern. Because I didn't kind of plan on you waking up, to be perfectly honest. Uh, right, get on the top here. Let's just see if I can just get 29% chance to hit. Bloody hell. Go for it! Nice! Okay, that's just pure luck. Okay, he goes down. Bunch of guys over there already... Well, technically they're not dead, but they're on the ground, which is close enough. Alright, new plan. Let's stop boxing in over here. Let's just start laying down some good quality mines all over the flipping shops. I know roughly the angles they're coming from at this point. 
So that all starts working for me. So we got mines over there. We got mines there as well. Okay. So we've got mines coverage. Where are all the tough guys coming from? Someone's around here. I don't see any more though. Oh, right. One of you's just detonated. So someone just walked into that mine there. We've got more over there as well. Go over to gas canister mines and just put one of them down over here. Now, the mine over there also needs to be replaced at this point. That's just gone off and killed someone. And there's more gone off over there. That needs to go down and protect. But actually... Actually... Okay. That's... that. Oh! Right, there was another one over there. They're all wandering around, but... Actually... I think things might actually be just a little bit on the calm side right now. We might have a moment's peace here. I think we've taken out another good quality number of ghouls. Back to undetected. Okay, new stage of plan. We've significantly weakened them. Take up any of the mines that haven't been detonated yet on this side. Time to activate the robot. I've thinned their ranks. The robot can at this point actually... Hopefully handle the... <gasps> That's a water fountain. Is it a good water fountain? It's... No, no, it's very irradiated. But it is still water. That's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Close the door. Right. Get the robot out. Right. Here we go. In. Safe. Open. And protect Tron. Moves over to law enforcement. And then gets turned on. And now... Hopefully, he can do some good work dealing with the rest of it. This time I get a silver locket and some dollars out of safe. Okay. Now, whatever's left on the floor, which I'm hoping is just a handful, I'm hoping the Protectron will kill it for me. And that leaves me free to loot for some food. And while he's just getting on with his job doing that... I've actually got a flipping level up to take. So that's flipping marvellous. Can't deny I wouldn't mind 20% accuracy increased. Especially as next time I can get that up to 40% more accuracy. Actually being able to hit with pistol shots and vats would be good. Uh, what else do we have? Hunter. Hunter is really... Yeah, you know what? I think the food situation has got sufficiently bad. We do need to take one rank of Hunter. What's the second rank of Hunter? Hides! Sure what hides do. Presumably provide leather for the leathery type armor, I suppose. Right, we've taken Hunter. That's fine. We know where there's some cows. We can go kill them. Obviously, this is the exact point where all the ghouls decide they can't be bothered to actually show up anymore. Previously, they were just, oh, yeah, you know what? We'll jump at you from every single flipping angle in the world several times. But now, now I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Can't be bothered today. You know, it, it's a day off. You know, we're just going to not bother murdering everyone today. Right. While he's going around, hopefully killing some ghouls, I can start looting this side of the shop. And also, I want to pick up some mines, just in case. Okay, are you already... Something already killed you, fine. So he's just going around, doing that, alright? He's heading to that side of the store. Though there might be more at the... Ri oh, 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 oh. That's a gas can mine. Right. Something bad is searching for me. This might not be quite done yet. Right, just stay slow, stay hidden. Something's still around. It's probably just something in the back rooms. Now, what have we got? We've got we've got many new Coca-Cola bottles, which is fine because new Coca-Cola bottles can be converted into dirty water, and dirty water is converted into pure water, and that's you know that's still a productive thing to be doing with my time. I feel like I maybe should, you know, open these boxes and check what's inside them. There may not be quite as much food here as I was hoping for. Ooh, but some psycho tats. I'll take some bloody psycho tats. Ooh, and on this occasion, this thing spawned with two moldy foods in it. Lardy flipping da, well, don't spoil me, game. There's a sweet roll. There we go. That's food. Food is good. <gasps> okay. We've actually started to find some food. If we just go through the aisles, there are still handful of food items here. Right. Also, uh, fill all the bottles, obviously. I think he might have just found it. Ooh. First aid kit. And that's just a hot plate, unfortunately. There's just nothing. No. 
There's so little food here. Still, one first aid box. Oh my goodness, I found a stim pack. What? Stim packs? Blimey, if only I didn't have 10 bajillion rads. Now, despite the uh, issues related to radiation, I kind of have to eat pretty much everything I've just found anyway. So, rads for, unfortunately, fancy lad snack cakes. And moldy food will actually hurt me as well as everything else, so that's great. And that's pretty much killed my health, lovely. And despite all of that, I'm still ravenously hungry. Berry mentats, though, that's good. Oh, hello, there's... Oh, okay, that's bottles, sadly. A whole bunch of bottles and booze in this aisle. Everything's under control now, okay. Everything's broadly under control. More medex, that's... Oh, that's food. That's actual food right there. No, that's not. That's a Braxo cleaner. Probably don't eat that. What's in here? That is... Ah! There's still a... There's still a feral. There's still a feral. There's still a feral. Back away. Back away. I need to save my rads for the irradiated food I need to flipping eat. Obviously no food in the foodie area. Oh. Oh dear. Something's already killed you then. That's... That's promising that you're already flipping dead. And there's some buff out, but still, no real food here. Right, get in here. Watch out, because a ghoul's going to wake up. But, potentially, you have nothing good on you at all, aside from a handful of fusion cells. And a... Yep, some Radax. Fine. Two doses of Radax. The laser musket's nice, but actually, laser musket plus ammo for it. 13.8, but damage 33 and can be charged multiple times. So potentially could kill something pretty effectively. But in all fairness, it will fire literally once if I charge the damn thing. So leave that here. Maybe nip back for that. Is there any actual food in here? And the answer is, well, obviously not. One bandage. Right, grab the bandage, then just get out. Oh, there's a first aid kit around the back there. Leave it. Just leave it. Close the door. Okay. I've found some food and some medicine. But now we know for a fact something killed that robot. There are still things alive back there. I've searched the shop floor. And I don't find pretty much anything there's... I'll take some flipping wine. In fact, you know what? Take more booze. Take literally all the booze. Booze could be quite useful. I think it's time to leave. Just take the bottles. Fill them up on the way out. I know there's more flipping guys at the back there. Honestly, this has been a bit of a waste of mine. I mean, it's been nice to get some experience up. But I think actually, this has not led to food in the way that we might have anticipated. Let's just quickly fill up all these bottles. How this has instead led to food is I've now leveled up and picked up the Hunter Perk. And because I've picked up the Hunter Perk, I may as well drink until I've got rid of the, the water. Entirely because I've got spare rad space right now. How am I not? There we go. Finally, I've got Hunter. That means those cows to the south of Corvega, we can take out those cows. I think that's actually how we get our food. It's time to go. We've done what we can here. And we've had a little bit of food. Enough that I'm not going to die imminently. But we're straight back up to the flipping rad problems, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Ah, and of course, I've just remembered what the exact problem is. It's because I've got parasites, because I never found antibiotics. So, parasites, you need more food to stop you being hungry. That's why I'm shoveling stuff into my mouth, but unfortunately, I'm not getting any less hungry for it. I've got a stim pack, loads of radex, some drugs, a whole bunch of dirty water. I'm going to take them back to the retirement home over here. And I'm going to rest up, and we're going to call it apart, right flipping there. There's just a random little cot there. That's nice. Yeah, we're going to call it apart there, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, I think we're going cow hunting, and we're going to make ourselves a lovely beef burger, and that should flipping help. Actually, a proper Brahmin steak, that would just be flipping perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think that might be what we actually need to do to, you know, survive and all of that. So, we're going animal hunting. We'll go cooking. That'll get the hunger under control, but the real problem now, once again is rats. Possibly what we need to do is, yeah, get myself fed up and then use drugs to boost my hit points and then just do uh, a couple of fungal purges. I'm carrying some fungal purges, uh, but after that point, well, let's have a look at the map here. 
probably a priority might be to return to College Square and then head east through this area trying to find a medical facility. I know there's one in there somewhere. Alternatively, if I head south, yeah, police station. But I feel like actually I need to find some antibiotics because at this point I'm ill twice over. I've got... I think I've got fatigue and I've got parasites. Not the worst things you could get, but still pretty bloody bad. So possibly it's time to go, yeah, down here, kill some cows, find a cooking station, maybe return underground to do that. Might be the safest thing to do is to return underground. And after that, medicine and guns will be my priority. And beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, I always said I've got my one priority. I want to make it home. I want to get home to Sanctuary Hills. I assume my protagonist is indeed the same protagonist of the main game, but instead of being frozen, they just kind of got tossed in the rubbish and left to die in the sewer. So, we are going to make it home. <laughs> Damn it. That's my objective, but it's going to take a little bit of work yet. So, this continues next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death. Okay, this is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>